Hello everyone. I am Dr. Pravin Kumar. I am here to present my thesis work on pancreatic island. The simplified topic for today's talk is regional variation of human pancreatic island dimension and its impact on beta cell in Indian population. Before moving into the topic, first let me explain what is the pancreatic islet is. These are the group of cells which is scattered in the pancreas. These islets contain uh, different cell type like alpha, beta, delta and epsilon cells in which this beta cell is more important because this cell will secrete the hormone known as insulin which is the uh, hormone responsible for glycemic control in our body that is the glucose metabolism. So if there is any deficiency or abnormality in this beta cell or insulin will lead to diabetes mellitus. So the purpose of this study is to find why Indians are more susceptible to diabetes mellitus. You must be thinking are we more susceptible? Yes, actually we are more susceptible to diabetes mellitus than other population because we are having the long standing concept that increase in BMI that is nothing but body mass index that is the obesity leads to diabetes mellitus. Okay, but we South Asian population especially the Indian population are more susceptible to diabetes mellitus in spite of having the lower BMI that is the lower weight for our height. That's why even WHO has given the different set of range for our BMI to label us uh, overweight or obese when compared with the non-Asian population. So even though we are more susceptible for uh, diabetes, uh, to the best of our knowledge, there is very little study which is done on human pancreas to measure how much islands are there or beta cells are there in the Indian population. So the rationale behind the study is the better understanding of island and beta cell morphology and distribution in the pancreas of non-diabetic Indian population will give insight into the increased susceptibility of Indian toward diabetes mellitus. So moving to the methodology, we have collected total of 33 adult human pancreas mostly from the cases of road traffic accident. Okay, This is in the postmortem. So after death we have collected during the autopsy mostly from the road traffic accident so that there won't be any chronic disease in them which will affect the result of this study. So this is a specimen of single pancreas which is collected freshly from the autopsy with the surrounding tissue. After removing the surrounding tissue we have divided into head body and tail. These are the parts of the pancreas. So from which we have taken the complete coronal and transverse section. Anyway, we have to uh, view it under the microscope. So for that we need small pieces. So we have uh, divided into many sub block. Finally, all these sub block are transferred into the well labeled cassette. Okay, so head, body, tail like that completely we have transferred. So roughly 40 blocks per pancreas will be there. So like that we are having the 33. So the cassettes will be huge. These cassettes will be processed in the several chemicals. Finally, it will be visualized under the microscope by using of some stains. So firstly, we have stained with the hematoxin and eosin stain. So this is the common stain which, which we are using for almost all the tissue in the medical field. Here we can able to see the uh, tissue architecture clearly. This is important in my study because uh, pancreas is the organ which goes for autolysis. That means disintegration very soon after the death. So once we collected the pancreas, we need to segregate the good one from the autolysed. Autolysed means it is already degraded. So no point in proceeding with these pancreases. So after excluding the pancreas which having the autolytic changes, 20 good specimen were subjected to the immunohistochemical staining, which is nothing but the stain uh, which will identify the specific cell type in the tissue based on the antigen antibody reaction. Okay, So we have used two stain, two different antibody to identify the beta cells and the islets. Okay, This is an anti-insulin antibody to identify beta cell. This is an anti-sanitophysin antibody to identify the islets. So like this, like that, uh, see this is the uh, picture I have already shown. From this one block, 
this is the whole slide image we have obtained after staining so likewise uh, around 1600 slides we have collected over the 20 pancreas so all those are difficult to analyze in the manually so we have used the image analysis software here these brown color are the islets or beta cell depending on the antibody which we are using and the background the blue is the endocrine exocrine part of the pancreas so by using the uh, image analysis software we have filtered the tissue area from the image and also we have filtered the islet or beta cell area so finally by using these formulas we have come to the uh, total islet or beta cell area proportion okay what is the percentage of islet cell or beta cell in a particular block or pancreas so i will uh, discuss the result and discussion together for better understanding this is the mean uh, age and bma of the individual okay so the bma is within the normal range as per the who cutoff so it won't alter the uh, disease, uh, result of the study first we will see the regional variation of islet and beta cell that means how the islets and beta cell is dispersed into the pancreas so if we see the islet and beta cell both are increased in the tail region when compared with the head and body which is statistically significant also but when we compare the same thing with, with the existing data in the literature that is from the american population there is no indian data so when we compare with that we found that uh, in uh, there is 13 to 37 percentage decrease in total islet area that means we are having less islet in head and tail region but surprisingly we found that beta cell is more when compared with the american population this is because if we see the beta cell percentage that means this is for example if you take a group of islet there is a single islet in that group of cells are there for example 100 cell out of which in american population 55 are beta cell but in indian population it's roughly 62 so it's more so it leads to more beta cell so you must be thinking more beta cell may be more beneficial but it is not we'll see in the upcoming slide next we will move on to the regional variation of islet size okay so before that i will uh, introduce the importance of islet size smaller islet is uh, size less than 50 micron in diameter okay so in which beta cell is present in the center and periphery there is alpha cell so uh, more amount of beta cell will be there and less alpha cell will be there in smaller islet if we see the larger islet in larger islet there will be actually less beta when compared with the smaller islet but alpha cell will be more and which is intermingled in arrangement there is no orderly intermingled arrangement because of this intermingled arrangement I, beta cells of small a larger islet can able to secrete more insulin via paracrine effect okay so alpha cell will stimulate the beta cell to secrete more so now see the average dimension uh, tail is having more uh, diameter of the islet, larger islet if we see the proportion of larger islet what is the percentage of smaller and larger islet if we see tail is having the maximum of 28 percentage of larger islet when we compare the same this uh, island proportion uh, with the American population again we found uh, it, there is a significant reduction that means we are having more amount of smaller islet not the larger islet so smaller islet ultimately leads to more amount of beta cell but which will be lacking the paracrine effect to secrete the insulin so already studies in American population reported that preferential loss of larger islet in type 2 diabetes uh, pancreas so this is correlating with the present study so coming to the conclusion and take home message the islets of the tail region of the pancreas are more numerous and completely larger in diameter so larger islets are predominantly located in the tail region this uh, reduction in the proportion of larger islets that means we are having more amount of smaller islet because of this smaller islet having more beta cell that's why in the result we have seen there is more amount of beta cell in the our present study this beta cell lacks the paracrine effect that means lack the stimulus from the alpha cell because smaller islet lacks the intermingled architecture so because of that there is decreased insulin secretion so probably this will be the one of the reason why we are more prone for diabetes so uh, further we are working on the diabetic pancreas to validate this finding so how it is differing in the uh, case of diabetes and non-diabetic in indian population itself so here I have published the detailed result. You can go through it. So I uh, thank uh, 
my guide co guides and uh, in the department of aims bhuneshwar and also in trichy uh, srm where i am currently working thank you everyone thank you for the organizing uh, committee for giving me the opportunity to present thank you ma'am